Commander, everyone else is with the fleet en route, save the Emperor, of course. He's back on Drome and Kass. I'll connect us. Commander, thank you for joining us. I was saddened by the necessity of Darth Shah's death. I had always enjoyed her devious mind. But in times like these, loyalty and focus are equally important. If only your operations had resulted in fewer Republic reinforcements, our work on Corellia would be more straightforward. I regret that we couldn't do more to weaken the Republic's position. All the same, we still have some advantages over our foes. Given that the enemy is unaware of the details of our strategy, their fleets will assume a flexible defensive formation in geosynchronous orbit above the Meridian Complex shipyard. Contrary to their expectations, I will take most of our ships to the far side of Corellia, forcing at least some of their vessels to break formation and engage us. What makes you so certain that they will follow you? Indiscriminate bombardment of the planet's surface. Cities, industrial centers, resource caches. We will be impossible to ignore. Taking a huge fleet to serve purely as a diversion. You expect us to believe that's your only objective? My only objective is victory for our empire. With their formation broken, our technological advantages will allow us to punch through the remaining defenders and conduct a surface assault on the complex. The last of our dreadnoughts, equipped with Isotope 5 reactors, will escort the ground assault force through the enemy's blockade. Meanwhile, the silencers commanded by Moff Pyron will destroy any Republic capital ships that attempt to interfere. Tell me more about these silencers. Harrower dreadnoughts, modified to carry state-of-the-art mega-laser main cannons. They can destroy enemy capital ships in a single shot. Once we reach the planet's surface, we will attack the Meridian Complex from multiple directions, seize its control center, and disable the shields protecting it from orbital bombardment. From there, our ships reduce the complex to slag, and the Republic's best hope for victory crumbles into dust. Splendid. I do enjoy the intricacies of your strategies. But what of our honored guest? How do you plan to include the Alliance? The silencers are vulnerable to starfighter attack. With the Alliance fleet to escort them, that risk is all but nullified. As for the Commander, I would welcome such a deadly ally in my surface attack group. I'm ready to launch right away. Rendezvous with these coordinates. Our attack begins as soon as you arrive, Commander. I shall look forward to reports of our great victory. Good hunting. My boys have a ship fueled and ready for us. They're practically drooling. Most of them have never seen a battle this big. They'll be competing for the most kills. Care to join the pool? Winner takes any interesting gear or other goodies we manage to plunder on the way out. I'm not interested. Suit yourself. Shall we? Commander. Proceed to these coordinates to join our assault formation. Our ships are in position and report well. Let the battle begin. targeting all major population centers. Silencer Group, move to your designated firing points. Surface Attack Group, advance. Isotope 5 generators at maximum output. Engines at 322%, shields at 563%. Energy levels like that, flying this close together? Our little ships will never even show up on their scopes. We're all but invisible. They're concentrating fire! Trying to pick us off one by one! Ignore them. Maintain course and speed. Shields! Failing! For the Empire! Holding course! Holding! We have breached...
breached the Republic's defensive line. All ships, break formation. Scatter! They can't shoot at us now. If they miss, they'll hit their own people on the surface. How many lives did we lose to make that happen? How many ships? Merely a fraction of those the Republic will lose when we've finished here. Surface attack group, proceed to your landing coordinates. The final phase of the battle is about to begin. There are more ground cannons than anticipated. All shuttles proceed to secondary drop zones. Watching our backs. Republic's gonna send everyone they've got to reinforce this shipyard, so be ready to rack up some big kill counts. Contest starts now. A point for every kill. Officers are five, vehicles and Jedi count for ten. And if you die, you're out. So don't get reckless out there. Understood? We won't let you down, Major. You never do. Hop to it. Ready, Commander? Let's tear down a shipyard. Who are you? I'm Theron Sedrax, obviously. Preeminent expert in exotechnology and senior design engineer for this facility. Theron, huh? Don't you have a buddy named Theron? Another Theron? Probably spells it the stupid way. Presumably, you're here to seize control of the facility? Or perhaps to sabotage the defensive systems? As long as you cooperate, we won't hurt you. A very reasonable position. I would love to make a grand speech about never giving up and choosing death over dishonor, but the truth is, the situation is out of my hands. All defensive systems, shields, anti-aircraft guns, and so on, have been transferred to the secondary control station near the top of the spire. All of this equipment is useless now. So there's really nothing to be accomplished here, and nothing I can help you with. Commander. Apparently the shield controls have been transferred to another control center higher up in the spire. Is that so? None of the computers will respond, my lord. And I'm seeing some lightsaber burns over here. That was the Jedi, Tau Adair. She's commanding the last of the facility's guards. She severed the connection as soon as control was transferred, then headed upstairs. Then we have our target, Commander. On Osus, we united our strength to crush the Jedi who tried to oppose the Empire. It's time we repeated that triumph. Join me, and together we will win a victory for the Empire it will change the course of the galaxy forever. Together we'll be unstoppable. Major, hold this position, no matter the cost. Yes, my lord. And what about him? The scientist who built this facility could be very useful. We should keep him alive. Whatever you say. I should have stayed on Nar Shaddaa. We'll keep you covered. Good luck up there. Steady. Fear is a deadly weapon, but only if you let them have it. Drop your weapons. Surrender. There's no need for more blood today. We won't back down. Fools. Not one of you could hope to defeat us. You're not fighting one of us. You're fighting all of us. Then you will all die. You are beaten. Your shipyard will be obliterated. Your Republic will crumble. And your fellow Jedi will be hunted to extinction. Your destruction is inevitable. As inevitable as gravity! Shield up. 
power at maximum. Evacuation protocols recommended. Henry, the Jedi smashed the controls. There's no way to bring down the shields. I copy. Raven to command. Shield controls disabled. No alternate controls available. Please advise. All units, evacuate. The mission has failed. The shields cannot be disabled in time. Regroup at RV point crash. Heard that people. Move out. Fall back, everyone. Fall back. Commander, that was just about the finest work I've ever seen. I know you're in the thick of it, but stop by the cantina later. Same place as last time. Have you lost your mind? Why would you call me here? Well, showing up in person seemed a bit risky. See you soon. The strategy was clearly flawed. There can be no other explanation. The strategy was perfect. The fleet held up on its end. You suggest that Darth Malgus and the Alliance Commander, perhaps the two deadliest beings in the galaxy, are the ones who fell short. No, I merely suggest that our strategy was not at fault. Ah, here is our beloved ally now. I'm sure there is a perfectly understandable explanation for these events. If Krovos had joined the main attack instead of wasting time on the other side of the planet, Things might have been different. Nonsense. The diversion was Malgus's idea, and without it, you would have faced more enemies, not less. Where is Malgus now? Never you fear, he lives on. Though his recovery may take some time. Not unlike our fleet in the aftermath of this battle, the silencers remain intact, thanks to the cover provided by the Alliance fleet. But our isotope 5 reserves are all but depleted and we lost many more ships than we'd anticipated. All of this might have been a worthy trade in case of victory, but in defeat, we will be forced to cede significant territories. Then we must turn to our beloved allies to find the strength we require. My dear Commander, we must depend on your alliance now more than ever before. What is your plan moving forward? Let's continue this conversation alone, Commander. The rest of you may go. The shortcomings of the Dark Council have become apparent. They carry out the daily functions of the Empire well, but cannot be relied upon in war. The Empire requires an organization more suited to direct, decisive action, free of the interference of the Dark Council. A group answerable only to me. Our past emperor had such a group, the Hand, but its members were a pack of fanatics and madmen. So I will form my own Hand. Its members will be the Empire's most powerful and loyal warriors. From now on, your alliance will coordinate operations alongside the Hand only, the Dark Council will hold no sway over your affairs. Fighting together, the Alliance and the Hand will be too powerful for any enemy to withstand. Our Empire will be unstoppable. Do you plan to have Malgus serve in the Hand? I do. He will act as your liaison as well. Once he's able, I'll have to find someone else to fill in. For the time being, rest and prepare your people for the battles ahead of us. After all, victory favors the prepared. Farewell.
I don't care. The body count is too high. This is war. Deaths are inevitable. I don't believe that. We could have stopped Trobos. We should have. Theron. I know you didn't pull the trigger on all of those civilians, but you didn't do anything to stop it. What's the point of taking them apart from inside if you're not saving any lives along the way? A spy really should be more flexible. I confess, being fully funded by the Empire might have made our daily operations easier. But I have no qualms with our current arrangement. I'm told there's quite a raucous party up in the officer's lounge. Would you care to be the star guest? Sounds like fun. Let's go. It's just this way. Hey, thanks again for finding me that bottle. Of course. If you need anyone to share it, count on it. Mind if I borrow him a minute? I'll find you later. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? Osus wasn't even that long ago. We've already made it through so much. That's war, I suppose. Still, most grunts aren't lucky enough to work with the deadliest fighter in the entire galaxy. Which reminds me, too bad you didn't join the bet. You'd have won for sure. Killing isn't something to be proud of. A kinder, gentler intelligence agent, eh? I actually came to talk about something else. Back on Corellio, I didn't actually make it out with the rest of the shuttles. Got caught under some falling debris and all the chaos. I wouldn't have made it out at all if they hadn't lent me a hand. Who? An old ally you never met. You're the one who tried to kill me on Mech Shah. Don't take it personally. It was a test. Nothing more. A test you actually passed. What are you talking about? I am Lord Scourge, once a loyal servant of the Empire. Kira Carson, Jedi Knight. Not thrilled to be here. All three of us have fought the same enemy. The former Sith Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorian, whatever you wish to call him. We know he was once a part of you. And we both felt his destruction. He has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I don't see Jedi and Sith cooperating very often, outside of my alliance. How did you end up working together? That is a very long story. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final, gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. What a mess. I have removed all compromised components. Where shall we begin repairs? Checking the failsafe is always first. Emperor Valron had us double the explosive charges after the OSIS mission. It was a real pain to hook up. Yes. I examined the device after removing it. Highly complex. You removed it? What are you thinking? It was rendered inoperable due to damage. Replacement is required. Interestingly, it was the only damage not caused by crushing impacts. The exterior perimeter was actually cut by a high heat implement. Oh no. Give me the droid. And a ship. 